Hello everybody. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update because it's almost been like a year since I did my other one and I hadn't even realised. Time has gone so quick. Um, we're actually married now. We've been married for 10 months. Um, soon going on a year. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, um, so I just thought I'd let you all know because I know a lot of people have been asking some questions. So if I'm looking over here a lot, it's because that's where I am. So I'm looking at myself because here are you and I'm over here. Um, and also I've got my things on my iPad just to make sure that I include everything because I've done little dot points um, to make sure I don't forget anything because I know I will. Anyway, um, so we left off, uh, we had just gotten a zero sperm count back from our test. Um, I'll let you know about my husband's things first and then I'll go on to myself. So he was diagnosed with zero sperm count due to undescended testes at birth. Um, we've since been to um, a specialist at Monash IVF and we've also been to um, a good friend of his who is a urologist which is like the male gynecologist um, and so we got him to do a couple other things so we could see exactly what we're in for um, he okay I'll go with the test we, he's done two more tests since then the second test that he had done was he had about 90 sperm so what they do they put them on slides and then they look and see on average what's in there on each slide so he had about 90 sperm all together and they reckon on each slide he had about four sperm per slide, which usually is hundreds of thousands. Um, yeah, he had about four and three were living and one was dead in each slide on average. So obviously it could have changed a little bit, but um, <clears throat> that's what they saw in most of them. So we're like, okay. Um, so then we were like, oh, awesome, all right, well, he has got sperm, we don't have to use a donor anymore, awesome, we'll send him back for another one and have it all frozen. Um, we didn't actually set up it to be frozen because we didn't think there was any, which I'm really chitty about, but anyway, um, so we went back and did another one and there was a little bit less sperm, but all of it was dead. Um... None of it was moving. None of it was viable. We couldn't use any of it. We couldn't freeze anything. And um, I kind of had a clue that it was going to be like that because we didn't get the results for like two weeks. Um, but they did say, sorry, I'm a bit sick. Um, they did say that they were going to bill us for freezing it. And I didn't get a bill in that two weeks. So I was like, bet you any money. They didn't find anything. And I was right. They didn't. Um, <clears throat> after that, we were going to go and get another one done, but then I had some little issues. So they found out that I had polycystic ovaries. Um, the last time I had it checked, which was at the start of the year, it's now July. The start of the year it was, I had 30 um, cysts on my left side and about 20 on the right, which sucks. It's actually going higher than it was before when they found it. Um, and then I was at Monash IVF with our specialist and I said to him, I was telling him that I'm experiencing a lot of pain, especially during my period. So he sent me to his wife, who is actually um, a specialist in finding endometriosis with um, an ultrasound. A very very hard to find but still anyway so I went and she reckons that I do have endometriosis um, it's not really really bad because it wasn't really easy to find she only found a few spots where it, it is um, but she goes because she can actually see it on an ultrasound it's probably not a good thing so um, they gave me the option of either going on the public waiting list um, which means it'll be free to get a laparoscopy done, um, which is where they go in and they grab out all the little endometriosis bits. Um, sorry, the light is quite weird. 
Um, there's a window over there, that's why. Anyway, um, yeah, or I could pay, I think it's like five or 6000 at the time and get it done straight away um, privately. And although I wanted to get it done because he goes, well, you won't be able to go through IVF unless you had this procedure because you need to find out what's going on in there. So I'm like, okay. Um, I wanted to pay the money. But on the other hand, I was like, well, we haven't even got sperm to use at the moment. So I don't see why we should spend all that money. So I went on the waiting list and took about four, four and a half, five months to get an appointment. Um, and then I got a call the day of my appointment. I had another appointment made and then someone had canceled. So I actually got my surgery date, which was five weeks from that first appointment. So I'm like, awesome. Like six months. I'm like thinking I'm going to have to wait over a year. Um, so that's amazing. It was supposed to be today. So I was supposed to have that off anyway. Um, but there were some emergencies and so it got pushed back. So now it's on Thursday. Um, but because I've got bronchitis, I'll be home the whole week anyway. And all next week recovering from the surgery. Um, but yes. So, uh, where am I? Okay. So when I went for my second appointment there, which was the one I had last, um, he's like, Oh, do you have any questions? And I was like, Oh, is that what you're going to do? Or can you like look other places, you know? And he's like, no, no, no. We check, we check your uterus and we check your ovaries and your tubes, make sure they're not blocked and all that stuff, you know, of course, because they know that we're going through IVF hopefully soon. Fingers crossed. Um, they're going to check all these things. So I'm like, awesome. So at least I'm scared at what they might find, but I'm happy that they're going to go check it because I don't want to go through IVF and have a problem that they don't know about and it not work and waste a whole lot of time, a whole lot of money and a whole lot of emotions. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that I don't find anything wrong so we can just go ahead and do it as soon as we've got sperm. Um, we're hoping to go through IVF. Man, if I could do it next month, I would do it next month. But um, what we're going to do is while I'm off, because I've got two weeks off now, um, Aaron's going to go and get another test. And hopefully, fingers crossed, oh, I'm so, so hopeful um, that we have something we can use. So if we get 10 or 20 swim, I am happy. More than one, I'm good. Um, actually, more than none, I'm good. Anyway, um, and yeah, as soon as we can, we're going to go through it. Um, if there is other things that come up, I suppose we'll just have to deal with them. Uh, if they end up finding something that we don't yet know about, um, of course we're going to do whatever we can to make our dreams come true. Um, next time we go, actually, which I think would be in the next couple of weeks, to our fertility specialist. Sorry, there's a bear dancing on the TV. Anyway, um, that was random. <clears throat> And my cat's here again. Hi, Jess. Um, yeah, so we're going to do anything, everything we can. Um, next time we go, we're going to discuss with him putting more than one embryo in if we're lucky enough to get more than one. Um, I know it's a little bit riskier to put more than one embryo in, but I, I feel like it's going to give us a higher chance, um, especially because it's a lot of money. It costs a shitload pardon my French. Um, and I really want it to work. I really, really do. And everyone's like, Oh yeah, but what if it, you know, they both take or something. Um, I'm good. I'm good with twins. I'm good with triplets. Maybe no more than three, actually probably no more than two, but I'll go with triplets. Um, but I mean, I work in childcare. I work in the nurseries at my work. So I'm used to taking care of more than one baby at a time. I know it's not and everyone's like, oh, yeah, but it's different if it's your own. I understand that. I know. Um, my sister's got four children. My other one's got one. Um, and I've watched all four of them at once. Um, I know they're not all the same age, but, you know, I feel like I could handle it if we did end up having 
multiples. Um, of course, when it comes around, I know it's going to be a lot harder than I think it is, but I'll do. I'm good. I'll do. Um, so, yeah, I know a lot of people, you know, they want a higher chance. They put two embryos in, but they really don't want more than one. Um, we're fine with more than one. Actually, I'd be happy with two. That would be freaking awesome. Anyways, so, yeah, that's where we're up to. Um... I'm hoping the next time, actually, you know what, when I have my surgery, I'm going to film it, like going in, and then I'm going to film it afterwards with <laughs> what my stomach looks like after that, because a little bit, they're going to cut me. Anyway, um, so we will see about that, and I feel like there was something else I was going to mention. No. I think that's good. Yeah, that'll be filmed when we go and get his test again. That'll be filmed. Um, I want to try and do a lot more updating so that um, people can follow the story, you know, because I, a lot of people are asking me, oh, how did it go? You know, have you gone through IVF yet and all that? Did you find out about your husband's sperm? Um, there's not really much we know more now than before other than I have this other problem, but hopefully that's going to be as corrected as possible um, on Thursday. So I've got three days. Today's Monday, so I've got Tuesday and Wednesday to clean my house because we're having inspection on the same day. Anyway, oh yeah, we have a new house now. Yeah, and this is it. Oh, hello, it's really messy, but yes. Oh, yes, we love that man. Um, not me, he does. See? Um, well, yeah, we have our house... The baby stuff's all in one room. It is packed to the ceiling or to the rafters, as they say. Um, we're actually thinking, we had a thought the other day, that this house really isn't big enough for children. Like older children, yeah, but babies, when you have their swings and you have their bounces and their high chairs and whatever else, um, it's really not very big. It's fine for us. But um, our lease actually runs out in April next year, which is um, uh, probably about nine months away. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is if we're any closer to having IVF, oh, I don't know, we might even be pregnant by that time. I mean, fingers crossed. That would be awesome. But... Um, if we're not pregnant by then, if we do foresee us going through IVF within the next year, we're actually going to move in April next year. So when our lease runs out, we'll either go month by month here while we find a place or I'll start looking beforehand um, so we know where we're going to move. Because I want one, we have three bedrooms at the moment, which is fine. I'm fine with three bedrooms. If we end up having twins, then both those bedrooms are going to be used and if we only end up having one then as it is now one will be ours one will be for the nursery and one will be for our spare room which my niece comes and stays over a lot um and then in a new house because we've only got one lounge room here um with dining kitchen like in a little owl shape uh, it's really not that big and it could, I could fit all the baby stuff in, but I'd have to take out my coffee table and then it would be really cramped. So hopefully I can find one that's a bit bigger. Um, my old house was a lot like that. Like my mum, my mum still lives there. Um, we're hoping to find something like that. Still three bedrooms, four would be awesome. We'll just have an extra study or something. Um, but we really need more than one living area because I want to have space. I don't want to be cramped, especially when family come over. When my fa when my immediate family comes over, there's like 15 of us plus all the baby stuff. It's going to be crazy. So, hopefully, we can find another place soon. Or even, you know, within the next 6 months if they know that someone's moving out, they get them, you know, signed up early so that they know They've got a tenant for that house, you know. So hopefully that can be us. Maybe we can find an awesome house for, you know, not much more than we're paying right now. Oh, anyways, yes. So that's it. Um, 
Yeah. I think I'm good. Um, so, yeah, I'll update you later in the week, hopefully a couple of times. Um, and anything else that I think of, I'll, um, I'll make another video and include it. So, yes, take care, and I'll see you later on this week. Bye.